everyone welcome back to my channel my name is rosemary this is rosemary's you rock art if you are returning thank you thank you thank you i truly appreciate it if you're checking this out for the first time i hope you stick around please consider hitting that subscribe button like comment share and hit that bell so you're notified anytime i upload a new video welcome to workshop wednesday today i have a project share over the weekend i decided i was going to make a bunch of pokey tools. I had just sent out my last one in friend mail. So I took out the skewers, I took out beads, I took out charms and the E6000 and away I went. So let me share with you the pokey tools I created. So I wanted to create very colorful ones for summertime. So that's what I did. At least I think I did. All right, so I will go through these with you. I'm hoping the little charms uh, aren't going to fall off because Jack has not closed the loop yet, but he will. Uh, okay, so this first one, um, most of the beads come from various places like Hobby Lobby, BB Craft, Dollar Tree, uh, and stuff like that. The little center bead right there, that's the little elephant. That comes from my dear friend, Jara. She was doing a D stash and, and uh, gave me a bunch of fun beads like that little elephant. This charm comes from BB Craft. So there's one bright colored pokey tool with a little elephant in the center. So there's one. This next one is bright orange and it has uh, a little dolphin in the center for uh, the bead. So there is that one. The charm is also from BB Craft, one of the star charms. So there is that one. All right, this next one is blue. And the center bead comes from Hobby Lobby. It's a big heart. And then the charm is a little angel with the gem in the center. My sister actually found those at the thrift store. Yeah, she uh, finds some incredible stuff. Now, all the pokey tools have the earring backing to uh, prevent someone from poking themselves. So there's that blue one. Let me find the other blue one. Here's the other blue one. This one has a little teddy bear in the center. Again, all these ones that are teddy bears or dolphins uh, or things like that come from my dear friend Jera. So there's the little teddy bear and the charm from BB Craft. Cute. All right. I particularly liked this one quite a bit. Uh, again, the dolphin in the center. These beads are gorgeous. They have like I'm going to twirl it and you can see how the bead is multicolored. It is gorgeous. I felt like it was really a good choice for a dolphin. And then the charm is a little heart, a little sparkly heart. Let me show that to you. A little sparkly heart. I thought that one is really, really pretty. So there's that one. Okay. Here is a red one. This one has a little dog in the center. It's so cute. Let's see. Maybe you can see him there a little better. And then the little charm is from BB Craft. Really, really pretty. And the beads, uh, I think these are bubblegum beads, the real large ones that I've shown you. Um, those are from, Jack I think ordered those from Amazon for me. All right, this one, oh my gosh, beautiful. Uh, this one has a flower in the center. I think that's facing the right way, yeah. I love these little crystal, that little crystal bead right there. That's from Hobby Lobby. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then a little charm right there. That one's from BB Craft. It's a real uh, iridescent crystally charm so there is that one with the flower in the center 
trying to lay them on here so the little charm doesn't fall off because Jack still has to close the little loop for me. All right. Uh, I love the coloring on this one as well. Uh, another dolphin, but this one's hot pink. And then these, again, are some more of those crystally looking beads. Oh, I love those. I love them. So, okay. And the last one, not too colorful, but I like it anyway. I had some like gray looking beads and then I had this gray elephant. So kind of hopefully match those up pretty good. And then um, a star for the charm. So there is that one. So those are the pokey tools I made. Oh, I actually made two others, but I will not be uh, showing those until Crafter's Choice Week. Um, in the collab that I am involved with, which is a Christmas in July collab um, created and hosted by my dear friends Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things and Patty over at Life with Patty. Uh, this coming Saturday is week three, uh, which is an altered project, and then week four uh, is Crafter's Choice, and I will be sharing those uh, two pokey tools that I made this past weekend. They're Christmas themed ones. So that's why I'm, I'm not showing those today. Uh, I'll be showing you those on week four of that Christmas in July collab. Okay, I am putting them back in this jar, not jar, this glass that I kind of display them in on my toolbox. And there you go. And I got this glass from Dollar Tree. Aren't they pretty? Yep. So, yeah, I have a lot, a lot of fun making pokey tools. I use the um, jewelry tray that you can get from Dollar Tree that have the little grooves in them. So, typically what I do is I kind of get all the beads, put them on the skewer, see if that looks good to me. Then I just set them all aside. And then once I have all of them designed, then I take that first one, I uh, take all the beads off the skewer, put the E6000, and then start re-stringing, uh, if you would, or, uh, you know, putting the beads on the skewer. Then once I have them all done, I just leave them alone. I, I was really good this time around. Uh, I left them alone for 24 hours, and that is the best way uh, to let the uh, E6000 adhere and properly adhere. So, yeah, I, I think they I think uh, they came out pretty cute and uh, pretty cool, and I am really pleased with how they turned out. And um, some more pokey tools in my stash. Yeah, ready for gifts, friend mail, and uh, yeah, who knows? All right, set those aside. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Workshop Wednesday. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock!